Which bit? Which bit of the ind- indictment do you disagree with? Which bit? Which bit is wrong? Well, in large measure, look, I'm no attorney. I'm just looking through it right now, and and their legal arguments, um, legal proceedings, um, nothing really about violence in January 6th. You didn't bring that up till, um, till page 35, I believe. It's just a complete rehash of what Congress did already, and they're arguing over legal proceedings over whether Donald Trump knew. Um, that that he wasn't going to stay in the White House, whether he knew uh, that he had won or lost the election. And and if you think you're going to get Donald Trump arrested and thrown in jail over the thought that he really believed he did not win the election, um, then I think you got another thing coming. I don't think that's going to be possible. He absolutely believed it. I was with him a couple of days ago. He still believes it. Everybody and, told him. Um, everybody told him he was wrong. I mean, as the indictment makes clear, his attorneys general, no, no, Department no. of the, Justice, the people, security the chief, people, his vice presidents, the governors involved, everybody told him that he was wrong. The, and yet he still believed are, he was right. That's your position. There are plenty of people cited in the indictment that said Donald Trump was wrong and told him he lost the election. But he was still testing a legal theory with attorneys that told him he was right, that he could do these things. So, I, again, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out in court. But Donald Trump absolutely believed uh, he was in the right here. Uh, there's no question about it, regardless of how many people told him uh, that he was wrong. Hogan, you said you were with him a couple of days ago. What's, what's the mood with Donald Trump right now? Um, yeah, look, he's in a great mood. Uh, what you see out on, those, um, on the campaign trail, what you see uh, in those uh, rallies uh, is, is what you see um, you know, behind the scenes as well. Uh, we were together on a flight and uh, had some conversations. And look, I think he's he's upset at where the country is right now, uh, where it's headed. I think he, he's angry that the American people have been taking it in the teeth now for the better part of three years. Hogan, I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to suggest, because I know that you're a really smart bloke, you don't believe a word of this bullshit. You know exactly what Donald Trump was up to. You know exactly what he was trying to do. Donald Trump knew that he was looking for votes when he called up the Georgia official. He knew that he tried and tested all the legal means and there were no more votes to be found. And so he called it fraud, not just on January the 6th, but in the months and the weeks after and even before the November election. And you know that. Uh, no, I don't. In fact, I know the exact opposite. Let's not forget here, because I don't know how old you are. I can't tell because we're not looking at each other. But I'm old enough to remember in 2016 when if you did not question the outcome of Donald Trump's victory, that you were somehow in league v- with Vladimir Putin. You were a Russian stooge. It was your patriotic duty I don't know to who, question the outcome I don't of elections. Know who, who you're talking about there? I'm talking about Hillary Clinton. I'm I don't remember about Barack Kamala Obama. Harris. I'm talking about sitting Val in the White Jennings. House I'm refusing to see Sheila power. Jackson Lee. Right. I rem- I, well, let, let me remind Hillary you. Clinton let, sent, Hillary sent, Clinton conceded sent, the day after the election. Sent, Hogan. No, no, no. She literally said like a month ago that the election was stolen from her. She conceded let's not the forget, election. She let, conceded let's it not immediately. forget the Democrats. Let's not forget. It's been the Democrats every election since Reagan who have refused to try and seat electors in Congress. Okay. Every single election a Republican wins, it's the Democrats so, who question the So it the sounds outcome. like you're saying this is playback time. Let me just ask you a question. No, it's not, from- no, 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 no. I'm just saying it's just interesting that when Democrats question the outcome of the 2000 election and, and Nancy Pelosi says no former president there's no, equal, pro- there's no equal protection under Trump. the law, it somehow doesn't matter. It just hasn't it happened. Matter it hasn't happened for every- 150 years. No former president has refused to cede power. That's a fact. I, he didn't. He left. What do you mean he didn't refuse to cede power? He left. He left the White House On- exactly when he was supposed to at the appointed time, as outlined by the Constitution. Having, what I'm saying is, having it's failed just interesting in that his the attempts to overturn always, the election. Always- the News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 